Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the importance of the release agent versus the build agent as a container in Jenkins and Azure DevOps pipeline. So it is really, really important to understand and see the importance of the agents as a container and its evolution happening right now. I mean, it's there for a long time, but right now it is more prevalently being used in both Jenkins, Azure, or TeamCity, or any of the software of your choice. So it is very, very much happening at the moment, and the importance of understanding these concepts is also very, very important. I have already talked a lot about these containers as an agents in both Jenkins as well as in Azure DevOps pipeline courses in both YouTube as well as in Udemy, which is also available in our Excel automation platform. We talked about them a lot. And it's kind of a confusion happening among the community and it is super important to understand the power of having a clear understanding of this container as an agent, an agent as a container vice versa in a more detailed fashion. So the understanding of these containers is so important that you also need to go all the way back to understand what is Docker, what is Kubernetes, and how you can empower the existing agents with these super cool technologies which is available on the market. I have been talking about Dockers and Kubernetes a lot in our Excel Automation YouTube channel as well as in the Excel Automation platform, you might have seen that. But now we are gonna make use of these understanding in these Jenkin as well as in the Azure DevOps pipeline courses. So the idea of having the Azure agents as a container as well as the Jenkins agents as a container is completely different. Because if you take the Azure environment, Microsoft already have what is called as a concept of managed containers. So the managed containers are those which are going to be built by Microsoft and they have different flavors of these operating systems container. As you can see in here, they have some agent specification where within the agent specification, they have different operating system like Mac, Ubuntu, and Windows 2016, and Windows 2019 with different flavors. And if you go to this project setting, you can see there is something called as agent pools, and within this agents pool, they have this uh, Azure pipelines, which is gonna have the managed agent, which is provided by the Microsoft itself. They have something called as hosted agents, which are something useful for your execution to be happening on the fly. So once you use this hosted agent within your build pipeline or release pipeline, then the executions are gonna be taken care of by the Microsoft automatically and they're gonna execute it for you. So you can see that the owner is currently Microsoft Visual Studio Service TFS, which means it is managed by Microsoft. Whereas the Udemy pool that you are seeing in here is actually the custom agent which is installed within my local machine and it has all the capability of building as well as releasing an uh, application on my machine but this is something which is running within my local machine and it is then configured with the Azure services to perform the build action. So this is how the whole operations are actually happening on the Microsoft side and this is exactly what is actually happening in the Microsoft to empower the execution itself. But whereas if you take the same thing on the Jenkins side, Jenkins don't really have a concept of what is called as managed agent. They don't really have it. But you or we as a person, we need to actually construct this agent capabilities with Jenkins or within Jenkins using agents as a container. I already talked about it we can actually use a plugin called as the Docker plugin for Jenkins, which if you can install, you can then start using the Docker command, the Docker file, or you can also use the Docker as an agent within pipeline as a code as well, which is really, really awesome. So as you can see in here within my own hub.docker.com, I have actually built this Jenkins netcore agent, which actually has uh, tags something like uh, latest, but you can have your own different versions of these uh, container images, which actually runs the Jenkins for .NET Core applications, which is really, really cool. So I have built this, I have some layers of it, and it actually runs the .NET Core application on that. Similarly, I have agents for the uh, Java applications as well. As you can see in here, I have used the Docker image as the agent, and similarly, Within the Jenkins.NET Core, I have used 
the image which I have showed you on the hub.docker.com. So you can use these pipeline to perform the execution of your application and building of your application using these pipelines. So these are really, really cool. So these are something which are going to be empowering your existing agents which are going to build your application on your local machine and instead of using the local machine you're going to use the container which is nothing but the docker container to build your application this is really really cool and the next thing about this particular agents is you can also code or you can also create your own custom container and you can use them as a code within your pipeline as a code concept of the Jenkins you can store it there so that the whole environment which is nothing but the whole ephemeral environment is going to be sitting within your git itself so once you execute this code it is also going to execute the Jenkins file as well as the docker file for you which is going to perform the build operation as you can see in here which is something we already covered in our course where we are actually storing all the execution pipelines of the Jenkins which is using the netcore agent which I showed you on the hub.docker.com which is actually going to execute the Jenkins operation for us. So if you see within this Jenkins I'm actually performing a build operation it is now actually using the image which is stored within the hub.docker.com and it is performing the build operation of .NET application using the container which is going to run within my local daemon of the docker and then it's going to perform the build operation and you can see that the build got succeeded. This is really really cool. It has also produced the artifacts as you can see over here. So this is the whole power of the Jenkins agent as a container as you can use in here. You can really really create your own environment which is pretty cool and this is exactly what's going to happen with the Azure as well because within Azure they have different kinds of agent like managed agent like the agent for Windows for Ubuntu and for Mac operating system which you can use these agent to perform a build operation and you can also use the same agent for performing a release operation as well but there are cases that you may need to have your own versions of agent for example if there is a software which you're going to be using which is not available as the version within the container which is provided by Microsoft then probably you need to have your own custom images or custom agents for that. You can actually host those containers on the Azure subscription or you can also host that within your local cloud registry or the container registry of your company and then you can call that or invoke that particular agent within the Azure pipeline and then you can use it. As you can see in this particular demonstration we are actually using or creating a build pipeline where we are actually using a classical editor and is actually going to use one of the build using the existing templates which is available for building an ASP.NET Core application. So as you can see I am not even performing any action there I am actually using one of my custom agent instead of the existing agents and then I am going to perform some actions like copy files and all those stuff and once I perform a build operation this build is actually going to happen within my local machines agent. So it is going to use the power of the current local machines agent which is going to then perform the build operation and show us the result. So this is the whole power of the Microsoft's agents itself. So this way it is going to produce the artifacts for us pretty much like how we did for the Jenkins but just that this is actually going to use my local machines agent to perform the action. But instead of using the local agent you can use the container agent of Microsoft to produce those build operation for you and create the artifacts for you. So these are the real power of the agents as a container for build as well as for the release in both Azure as well as in Jenkins. So try to understanding then because these are something really really cool and there are even more things that you can do. You can also use Kubernetes for that matter to actually run Jenkins as master with different nodes like segregated but it doesn't really help you to create your own agent running in multiple places because it doesn't matter because Kubernetes is basically an orchestration platform not like a containerized platform. So that's why these concepts are really really important for you to understand 
what you are going to use these platforms. So now gone are the days, well, we are going to install these agents within our Windows machine or Linux machine or Mac machine to perform a build for you, which is going to generate the artifact. Now it's all containers which are going to be used for performing these action for us. And most important thing is these agents are actually ephemeral, meaning once they get the job done, they will be completely destroyed free up your compute space and free up your execution space so that you don't really have to pay anything for the Azure subscription that you are going to be using or even if you're going to host that within your local uh, cloud then it's not going to be costing you anything because it's going to be your local cloud. So you're going to always save some space while you are going to use these agents as a container for performing these build and release operation. So that's it guys, hope you really enjoyed and understood the real power of these containers as an agent concept in a more detailed fashion. Meet you in our next video to see how we can even enhance the way we are actually performing these actions. So once again, thank you for watching this video and you have a great day.